would like to thank you for the opportunity to convey uh, the experience of Thales. Thales has been there in India for the last uh, 65 years. And I would say that our development in India has followed a typical three-step service. You start by cooperation. You continue by setting up uh, representations, commercial representations, to really uh, induce your exports from your mother countries to India. And then you end up, as we are doing today, in globalization, i.e. making India part of our talent story. India is actually uh, one of the three major countries in which Thales is currently developing worldwide. So I would say we are accelerating the development of Thales footprint in India. And I would like you just to, re to remember three letters. PTP. Very easy. My speech is terminated. <laughs> PTP means People Technology Partners. So in terms of, because you need all of them. And actually, all of my colleagues have uh, said that, actually. If you remember when they said uh, they were talking about people, they were talking about partnership, they were obviously talking about technology. So at the end of the day, we all have the same recipe. Uh, so what are we doing? People, in terms of people, uh, today we have 1,500 people being direct, uh, direct uh, employees of Thales or indirect employees of Thales through the supply chain, so 1,500 people. And our objective is really to triple that in the next three to five years, so aiming at 5,000 people. And of course for that we are uh, capitalizing on uh, offset program, we are capitalizing on setting up engineering skills, we are capitalizing also on uh, m and uh, as, you, as you all know, probably Thales and Gemalto are going to merge. Uh, Thales is buying Gemalto, and Gemalto is 700 people in itself in India. And therefore, those 700 people will join the 600 people that we have already here, the 1,500 people. People as well, uh, we are very pleased to contribute to the uh, upscaling of uh, people capabilities in India in terms of uh, engineering. We are uh, financing a certain number of collaboration between French uh, or European institutes uh, and uh, institutes in, uh, in India, like, like the one of uh, Chennai, the one of Mumbai, the one of Bangalore, and the one of uh, Delhi. We have signed, all over the last four years, uh, MOUs with all those institutes of technology and we are financing PhDs uh, in, in between those two countries. I'm sure this is a recipe that is not new, but very, very valuable for Thales and, of course, for the people. <coughs> in terms of technology, uh, recognizing the fantastic pool of resources that we have here in India, we are setting up uh, an, engineering set, uh, uh, an engineering competence center in India based partly in Bangalore, partly in, uh, in Delhi. And the objective is to recruit between 2,000 and 3,000 people in the next three to five years. Of course, a certain number of companies have already done that. Thales is doing it. Um, and it's, uh, it's certainly one of the ways to develop your um, R&D competence center in India and to, to benefit not only our Indian business, but also our global business. Now, in terms of partnerships, of course, we have been uh, cooperating with HR. Uh, we have been setting up joint ventures over the last, uh, let's say, 10 years. We have joint venture both with a public enterprise like uh, Bell, Barat Electronics Limited, which is well known, but also private entities like uh, LNT, Technology Services, or some telag units. And I would, I would say those joint ventures are really one of the conduits to develop your footprint or our footprint here in India. 
you probably are aware also that uh, Thales recently has signed uh, MOUs with NKU, which is already uh, partners in this uh, conference, uh, in two, uh, two specific uh, verticals, optronics, but also uh, armaments, carabines, and we, we really aim uh, to benefit from uh, the, the dynamism of this uh, company, which is set uh, in Uttar Pradesh, in order to develop our business here in India. We are cooperating also with Barat Dynamics Limited in, uh, in the uh, air defense, very short air defense systems. Uh, and finally, we, we also have set up what we call a go to India approach, i.e., really um, developing the supply chain here in India. I fully join the, uh, the mention that uh, offset is not an objective in itself. It's a good incentive, however, for our big companies.